we shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome someday. Deep in my heart, I do believe we shall overcome someday. I know I don't have a good voice, but this is we shall overcome challenge. Hashtag we shall overcome. If you're watching this video and you love what Amaya, please take your phone. I mean, those of you with good voice and sing this song for me. We shall overcome. Just sing this song. Hashtag we shall overcome. Post it on Twitter. Make sure you tag me. I'm going to retweet. Make sure you tag me on Instagram and I'm going to repost. This is we shall overcome challenge. Because sometimes I just don't get it. God, why? What crime did Africans commit for you to give us leaders like this? Part of the challenge uh, that the authorities faced is that uh, they did not want to have many people living together in one flat. So you're right about that. And so they were put in a situation where their instructions were, which were interpreted as eviction, which were really about social distancing, because they wanted people to live individually and or the right number of people in each flat. So you don't have too much crowding, because you cannot deal with social distancing, and you can't deal with the spread of COVID-19 when there's too many people living in one space. I guess now we all can agree with Benjamin Burumbo saying that each time I want to fight for African rights, I only use one hand because the other hand is busy trying to keep away Africans who are fighting me. This is the saddest reality of being an African. You wanted to observe social distancing by evicting people from their houses? Forcing people to do self-quarantine. I mean, evicting people from hotels and send them outside. And you are giving us an excuse that you wanted to observe social distancing. And the foreign minister of Kenya believed and confidently started giving such a disgraceful speech. Because you don't want to see a lot of people in one room. My brother, foreigners in China even live large than some Chinese people. They rent an apartment and every room contains what? One person because someone might want to enjoy with their girlfriends. So telling me that you evicted people from their rooms just to observe social distancing, that's, that's a big lie. I don't want to say anything. Just leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like the video. Even some Chinese people came together after seeing what happened in China. They came together and made a video and say that Africa be strong. God bless you. Africa be strong. Africa be strong. Feijou, jiayou. Africa be strong. Feijou, jiayou. Africa be strong. And our Nigerian foreign minister is also busy saying that Chinese government and our officials that are working closely together. Of course, it didn't help either that one of the Nigerians who was um, asked to be confined and taken to hospital, shown to be positive, uh, or rather refused to be tested, uh, well, no, got into the hospital, having been positive, and then wanted to leave after a week, and uh, they tried to restrain uh, uh, him, and, and, and he bit the nurse, the lady nurse, uh, uh, 
uh, uh, sorted the nets. Uh, of course, this did not help the situation uh, either. So we are on top of the situation. I have to um, express our profound gratitude to the ambassador of China here in Nigeria. He acted immediately and reached uh, the most important uh, elements in the Chinese government hierarchy. Uh, the reaction of the government has been very, very quick. And, um, and, and so they're now working together as a team. It's unfortunate that the, 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 the government in Guangdong uh, did not reach out early enough to our authorities, uh, consulate uh, in uh, Guangdong and uh, Shanghai and Beijing. But now that communication has been established and they're now working together as a team, communicating and letting everybody know that these measures are to assure the safety of the Nigerians as well as everybody in China and in particular in uh, Guangdong uh, province where this uh, outbreak uh, originated uh, from. You had the foreign minister from Nigeria. He also believed the lie without a proof. Even a diplomat from Sierra Leone was trying to convince some of the African students living in Guangzhou to lie about their situation. Now something just to me, Ambassador, you talk. I need for diffuse a little bit the issues in how China. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that that was for from yesterday. Yeah, we want no one make like you you make audio Senna for say the situation don't change. You understand? Yeah. The situation don't change. Many will appearance then, the rest are short, that when they walk, when they in line with the embassy, we don't get to una, when I say don't get to it, we don't get understanding, and we don't walk together. So, I want to tell young Africans out there that we are in this together, and we shall overcome this someday. Wake up, fight for what belongs to you, and I believe that the future of Africa is bright because the young Africans like you out there are waking up. I'm not here to spread hate between Africa and China, but I wish the relationship between Africa and China but I wish the relationship between Africa and China can be transparent. There should be a mutual respect no matter what. So boy, Mr. Ghana, baby, leave your comments. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to share this video. If you are new to this channel, please do me a favor. Like I said, we can reach 400,000 subscribers. So please, subscribe. It's Easter season. Give me my Easter present by subscribing to the YouTube channel. And um, I'm going to see you in the next one. I am Maya. So what do you think about what African and China relationship? African and China relationship? <laughs> do you guys still want me to talk about it? Me, I've lived in China, I've lived in Africa. So if you told me to tell you guys about what? The African-China relationship, I'm going to talk from morning to evening, I'm not going to finish. But I, I just concluded that the relationship between Africa and China economically is very good. But cordially, let me tell you the truth they don't respect us. <laughs> that, is, that is the thing, man. They don't, they don't respect us. You know, like, when you come to China, this is how it is. They, they don't, like, I won't say that every Chinese person don't respect black or Africans. I'm just saying that in this mutual relationship, they don't respect us. Why am I saying this? <laughs> You're my friend, right? We are friends because China and Africa are friends. And you always come to me that, hey, please, can you borrow me this money? Like, I really need money. Today you come, I give it to you. The following day you come, I give it to you. The next day you come, I give it to you. Will you respect me for doing that to you all the time? Even though this is the same relationship between Africa and China. China, Africa is coming to China every single day for loan. And what did they do? It's like, it's like what? They said win-win cooperation, right? So which is when they come, I'm going to give you money and you give me your natural resources. And natural resources is something that money cannot buy. You guys don't know because I don't like talking about these things because I feel like it's politics, man. 
Money cannot buy natural resources, man, because even the price of gold varies every single time.